Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We hope you all had a Merry Christmas. We took a few days off and just ate a lot of things that included cream cheese in them, I think. We're excited to get back out here and do some work on Harvey. We've got some exciting things happening around here. Um, we pulled the trigger on starting a pole barn. And so, um, yeah, we've got a delivery and we're looking forward to seeing the work get started on that soon. We'll take you along for the ride as, as hopefully progress begins on that shortly. It'd be nice. Piles of lumber in the yard. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, and Santa was good to us this year. Yeah, I feel like Santa may have seen me struggle a time or two. Guess what I got? Blammo! <laughs> yeah, an impact. I usually uh, bust my knuckles and do all kinds of weird stuff, uh, hurting myself, twisting wrenches, so maybe an impact will help, you know, speed things up. Basically, we, we didn't plan to do another Harvey video right now. We What we planned to do was put the cover on it and put it away for the winter and work on a video that would recap like the whole second half like of the full renovation and um, we realized there was quite a few projects on the list that we wanted to do before we put the cover on and so i have a list here that we're going to go through for this video so the top one here is the spare tire so that's what we're going to start with today also going to install a backup camera headboard thing some blinds a curtain to divide the cab from the the camper part fake cane webbing rattan looking stuff retro awesome peel and stick backsplash fix the bathroom door and touch up paint so once all that's done i feel like we can get the cover on and well harvey won't be done done um never done it will be pretty much done <laughs> then we'll move on to the next project so let's get going on that spare let's do it so this is the spare tire mount that we got off of amazon it wound up not working um, for a couple of different reasons when you mounted the spare tire to it it set below the bumper and it was going to drag especially if you're going up some sort of incline no matter which way you turn the wheel um, it wasn't going to work so what we wound up doing was coming up with a different tire mount and this was what was on harvey originally it was made out of a couple of signposts and they did somewhat of a good job but they just didn't take it far enough they had some ratchet straps and some different things going on up here to try to hold the tire on there um, it'll maybe make more sense when i get it out here on the bumper in a, a couple minutes but i made the uh the cross braces to kind of sturdy things up and it's actually going to have the ability to be uh, bolted to the posts with four bolts. So everything should be nice and solid and uh, we'll have a spare tire that sits up above the bumper and doesn't drag. Yay. So I'm ready to give it a test fit. Let's take it outside in the freezing temperatures and <laughs> see what we've got. In order to get the spare tire carrier to go back on, I had to cut a little bit of uh, the grating out of the bumper rack. So I did that. This is gonna slide down in here, fit up tight to the bumper and then Centered perfectly. Centered perfectly. That was a <laughs> special request I got from somebody. Okay. All right. Some miscellaneous hardware. All right, that'll hold it in place for a second until I can get it. This, uh... So these are what, like just pipes or something that are welded on here? Yeah, somebody did a good job of booger welding those on there. And um, I mean, they serve a purpose. What they had before was the wheel just set on the, the bars here. And then they had ratchet straps that were securing it to the post. Um, I took it a step further. Not only will it sit on this, but it'll also bolt through the um, bolt holes on the wheel, and that will secure it um, from multiple points. All right. That's on there. All right. So it should be solid. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah, not too bad. Um, we'll get that wheel on there and then we'll be on to the next thing. <laughs> oh yeah. This is just like that. 
so he just had a minor mishap. That is sad. To explain. So we had this board leaning up against the camper, I don't know, like so. And when we went to get in to go take the mattress down, the weight kind of shifted and it cracked our cover over the backup light. This is one of the original covers. Now it is freezing cold and it is plastic and it was already cracked. There's several things not working in our favor, but Aww. if anyone knows where to get these kind of things, we'll just have to put like a Dixie cup over it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, oh terrible. Mm -hmm. So disappointed. Here's what remains. Maybe we can glue it together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the show must go on. Here we are back in Harvey. When we shimmy the mattress all the way down to the footboard, um, we have about eight inches here. So that's where we're gonna do a little headboard storage compartment. I'm gonna go work on that. And while I do, Tyler is going to do some caulking. Here it is, got some fancy cushioning there, but you can see there's just areas that need to be caulked. And um, so we'll get the caulk out and then we'll get the heater going, get the caulk out and get the heater going. <laughs> Had to make sure it was clear. We also have a board missing here. We'll throw that in this video. Oh. We also bought these handles so that we're getting up and down the ladder. We have something to grab onto. So the list is growing. Nothing crossed off just yet. I started on this bad boy headboard. Um, the idea is this will be the front of the camper. The mattress will come up to about here. Um, so just a little lip so our pillows don't slip on top of it. We'll get some handles here. Have some of these, I don't know, they used to call them Euro hinges. Now they're full overlay frameless hinge. So I'll get some of those underneath and have a little couple his and hers storage compartments. So just explaining to Jack what our next process is gonna be here with our camera mount. While Christy does some carpentry work, we are gonna mock this up and get our backup camera ready to run our cable up front. You ready, Jack? Yep. Doing it. <laughs> okay. So in the center here is going to be our backup camera. Now, the idea that I have is to put this piece of steel behind here as my mount. I can get it to stay up there. And then I've got a little bracket on my camera, and it'll be facing directly through my wheel here. So we are going to uh, get this bracket all made up and mount a camera. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little piece of flat stock here. We're going to center it up between our bumper bracket and then we'll fold our ears over and screw them to the sides of the bumper bracket. That will be centered in the wheel right there. We've got a little camera bracket and then we'll start punching some holes in that so we can run our wire uh, up to the front. I'm drilling a one hole. With this thingy, then another with this one. <laughs> right away. Fine. Yeah. Okay. So now Jack's going to use this step bit, swap those out. He'll widen up the hole in the middle there, and that will be for the camera wire. How do I take this out? All right, hold your chuck. Oh, well, yeah. Hold this and use it on reverse. Well, you have to hold it tight. Oh, okay. All right. And then put it on forward. All right. Oh, ouch. Ah, see, no. I don't know if your plan is going to work as well as you thought. All right. Plan not working. Plan two. Go. How far am I going? All the way through. 
Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> no. Dad, Dad put a bit of oil on there. <laughs> what ah. is going on? Why is it taking so long? I don't know. <laughs> I need a, I need a kneel on it. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh no, my glasses are fogging up. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew this could be so hard? Right? Who knew? Ah. Good. Go on. Keep going. Whoa. Look, I can't see. I, I can't either. <laughs> Is it all the way through? No. Okay, last one. <laughs> oh. Jeez. <laughs> okay, that's probably good. Okay. <sighs> Holy moly. All right. You did it. I did it. So what are you doing, buddy? I'm screwing this metal thing onto this wood block. <laughs> yeah! Okay. All right. I think you're doing it from the wrong side as part of your problem. All right. There you go. All right. A little bit more. And stop there. This is our poor man's poor man's anvil. Make sure you smack my toe hard. <laughs> Checking our fitment. What does it look like, Jack? It looks like this. Well, is it in pretty good shape on either side? Uh, you get a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. We can uh, we can make that work though. All right. Check it out. Oh man. I'm gonna stain this inside, bring it back out tomorrow, and it's gonna be perfect. Oh, uh, and I have a surprise. Surprise. Should I tell you? So it being the final day of 2023 and kind of the culmination of the Harvey saga, I think we need to wood burn a little like 2023 in here or something. So, nice. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. I've never wood burned before but <laughs> yeah to mark the occasion yeah well oh. good all right look Sounds at good. this guy he's excited <laughs> <laughs> all right get the door for your mom do you know what cb stands for citizens band citizens band kit truckers lingo and this is going to be the future home of the monitor for our backup camera all right, you never know when you're going to need a CB, so I'm going to hold on to all the hardware and we'll keep everything intact. 
Ah, okay. Here we are with our list that we made two, three days ago. Um, we really have been working a lot on it. We just, like, we kind of had the spare tire done, but then had to undo it for the backup camera. Neither are officially done. Um, I added a couple new items, reverse light that we shattered, and learn wood burning. So... <laughs> I did, did you yeah you can cross that I off. did learn woodward nice. I still didn't show you what I would burn but that'll be a surprise for when we bring in the headboard oh speaking of surprises I'm gonna cross out caulk too that's not the surprise I have a surprise to show you you ready okay this is what I did all day when you were at work don't look yeah. close oh. your eyes <laughs> okay don't look I'm not looking don't look don't look. Okay. Don't look. Okay. Can okay, I look? you can look. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Aren't those awesome? Those are cool. Wow. Yeah. Holy smokes! Good job. Thanks. So I learned this was my big accomplishment huh. today. Wait for it. I learned how to sew a zipper. No way. Into a pillow. My goodness. I know. Look at you. I'm unstoppable. So this is the fabric that was originally on our couch. Washed it. It doesn't smell like our couch cushions. See, I used vinegar and then I washed it with baking soda and then I washed it with detergent. It's triple washed. I've had this since this summer. Wanted to do something cool with it to keep it in the camper. Like I said, then reminded me of my grandma's couch when we were growing up. I think everyone's grandma had this type of couch. Um, and the cool part was my other grandma and my mom taught me to sew. So it was like, I got to spend the day. Oh, <laughs> well, that was unexpected. I got to spend the day with my grandmas. They were really good grandmas. Yeah, so all you moms and grandmas out there know how to sew. Teach your grandkids. They'll make awesome pillows someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, pause. I did not know that was going to happen. All right, first up, mount the spare again. We'll see if we can get a few more knocked off the list. We'll at least get the backup camera on. I forgot. See this back cushion? Oh, yeah. It's a piece of foam. I took the fabric off of the other armrest that we rem removed. And it's just pinned right now until we can find someone who actually knows how to sew. Although I'm getting pretty good. But um, there's our missing cushion. Sweet. All right, back outside. Sorry if you can hear the generator. We're keeping the camper warm because we're getting ready to head in there hopefully soon. Because it's about ready to snow. It is so cold. It's windy. Hey, just a quick catch up. Jack and I got our uh, camera mount bracket ready. It looks nice. Yeah. I don't think I've seen it painted. This is the uh, the end that goes underneath the camper here. I just put the bag on it to protect it from the elements. But anyway, I zip tied and ran my uh, cable all the way up to the front. It's actually uh, ready to be plugged into the monitor. I just got to mount the bracket for the monitor and should be good. Awesome. That'll be such a nice addition here. Yeah. So here's our camera. So this was an Amazon camera. We'll put the link in the description. We've never used it before, so we can't say whether it's a good one, but we can right. give you the link to what we bought. All right, that's together. I should have come out here last night. We were climbing under the camper and it was raining and oh, snowing. Yeah. That was <laughs> came great. in soaking wet. That was I was busy sewing. <laughs> was it warm in the house? Yeah, it's so warm <laughs> in the house. As far as I know, tell me if this is what happened. What we had planned was that we were going to hook it into the electric that's not attached just to the backup um, reverse whatever yeah, gear. The, yeah, right. So that um, 
we could use it whenever we want. So we could keep it on as we drive down the road, see who's driving behind us, that kind of thing. Look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. Yeah. Well. What the heck is that? <laughs> it almost looks like we know what we're doing. <laughs> almost. <laughs> if everything works according to plan here. Oh, shoot. This spare tire mount looks amazing compared to that last little debacle we had. <laughs> well, if we uh, drag the spare tire on the ground now, we're either <laughs> doing a wheelie or call the paramedics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was going to have you time me so we could do this like NASCAR, oh. but uh, I don't think I'm going to be that quick, but I do get to use a new impact that Santa brought me. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I All right, pretty so good. now we get to go in where it's warmer? Yep, let's do uh, it. All right. We took down the old CB bracket and CB. Jack helped me with that. Now we're going to put up this new bracket for the monitor. It's going back in the exact same location. Just yeah. going to eyeball that in there. If we decide we don't like it here, we could move it. But since we already have holes here... Thought we'd try it here first. All right. There's that. Nice. It's got little adjustability. This wire that I have going here actually tucks behind our um, interior paneling here, runs down and then to the floor. The camera wire goes to the back to the camera underneath the camper and then I had to run uh, the 12 volt power wire up underneath the camera and I've got it directly. It's unplugged from the battery right now, but it is uh, going to be hardwired to the battery. We got a blue light. Boop. Hey. Look at that. Hey, it's right side up already. It must have auto. Maybe uh, I put the camera I, upside yeah, I, down. No. Well, I see, you see that. Wait, is it? What did it say? A A H D two, but it was upside down <gasps> in that corner. But the camera's upside down then. Well, yeah, but does that matter? Well, your home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! But you could flip it upside down. Oh. I don't know how you do it. We'll figure that. No, out. you hit the menu. I think. Is it the menu? Yeah. Mm, it's hard <laughs> when it's upside down. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, so when we were testing it before, we flipped the picture, yeah. but... Car. Mode. Oops. No. Yeah, that... <laughs> I think the camera's upside down. <laughs> well, yeah, because if we flip it right, so the menu's right, then the garage will be upside down. Look how dirty our garage is. Uh, I hope... Yeah, just don't, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> okay, mode. Boom. Rotate. Oh, that mirrored it. That's way worse. Oh, wait, the menu's oh, right. No, oh, okay. So that this is where the, we... The camera is upside down? Yeah, the camera's upside down. <laughs> All right, I can fix that. Oh, shit. I was wondering which way the camera went, but I just... Now you have a 50-50 shot. <sighs> sometimes you get them right, sometimes you don't. Uh <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> you did it. did it. Did it work? Yeah. You can see the rim just a little bit right there at that very edge. Yeah. It, it would be I thought a we could adjust of, it yeah, a little. For sure. You know, at least we'll know the tire's still on there if we can see the rim, right? Oh, good point. Yeah, we <laughs> see that sucker flop down. Right. Oh, good job. Oh, our garage is a mess. Yeah. Jeez. All right, so, and then when we want to shut it off, we just hit power, yeah? Boop. Nice. Does it come back on? Boop. Yeah, and can we play nice. movies on here? That's why I got it. Although I didn't hook up. There is a, another video cable for the uh, second channel. You could oh, put yeah. your... I could play Nintendo as we drive down the road. <laughs> is that what you would play? 
Dr. Mario is the best game. Why is that not coming off? It was like Tetris, but like you could have a competition. Yeah, but weren't you just like stacking pills? It it was pills, yes. It was so it was pills. like Tetris only with pills. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well, that makes sense. Obviously. Tetris. What about Mike Tyson? Punch out? I, I, you, you know. You couldn't get past Piston Honda. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, each guy had their, like, tell, you know? Yeah. But yeah. Um, what was that first? Oh, Glass Joe. Oh, Glass Joe. That's I should have said Glass Joe. Yeah. You blew it. <laughs> we got two things done on the list. Spare tires back on. Camera's working. Time for number three. Here she comes. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Probably should have stood outside and helped you. Um, oh, boy. I got it. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Do you need some help? No, never. <laughs> okay, here it is. All right. So I also, I coated, co coated this in fabric. Oh, yeah. Covered it. So this used to be leather... And I thought it would be a good idea to spray paint it green in like May and it didn't work out. The paint never really dried. It was tacky. So um, through some of that same fabric that we're doing the blinds with on here, this goes up on the side of the bed. I didn't show the handles. The headboard is this and it'll make more sense once we get it up there. Okay. But. You see the handles? Oh, look at that. So I can they're see just them. leather strap. Didn't want anything that was too bulbousy because, you know, if your your head's there or, you know, just flat basically. Right. And you want to help me throw it up there? Let's do it. All right. Oh. Huh? Okay. She put plugs in the end. <laughs> All right, let me. <laughs> Here, she put plugs in the end. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're looking for the right words and they Why just. Why you? You're supposed to sound super impressed with that. I am super <laughs> impressed. Wow. Look at the fit and finish. So we still got to uh, cover up our wires here. We've got some uh, wire hider that we'll put our wires in, make them all nice and neat. This one. Is of course running over here. We'll bring that one down and then into our cabinet. Yeah. Does that other light still work? I hope so. Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is luxury. That's pretty cool. All so right. we can oh. cross. Oh. Sorry, I got this carpet cut for the bottom. I didn't build a bottom in it just because why? But Oh look. Oh, that was your surprise. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I was going to wait for the end of the video Man. to show you that. Oh, well, there goes our big oh, cliffhanger. Well, that, no. that was the cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not very good at this. Oh. But yeah, I learned how to wood burn just for that. Beautiful. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, our drink deliveries here. <laughs> they got us a pop. Thanks. <laughs> I'm recording you. Here's a diet poop. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Did you guys see my pillows? No. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, you, you did? Yeah. I just Thank showed you. Dad. Thanks. Yep. Well, thanks for the drinks. Oh, yeah, you're Thank welcome. you. Have a good night. You too. <laughs> so, after we get our wire hider up there. And have that positioned right should be good to go yeah and they're soft clothes nice and it kind of gives it like a soft close no <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it gives it a slamming close isn't that fans it is fans look at that wow wow <laughs> you know when we put our underwear and fishing poles in there they, they won't rattle around so much with carpet at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> this brings back some memories, <laughs> putting up this stuff. Put one of these here and one up here so that we might not fall getting in and out of bed to be determined. Yeah, we might want to lay a mattress on the ground down there for when we do fall.
Oh. <laughs> You're going to have to hold my head up. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say anything too crazy, but you could do this from a standing position <laughs> down here. <laughs> well, I... You know, <laughs> I mean, um, I was doing, uh, I was performing other activities up here and I figured I didn't want to get up and down. So okay. you're probably, you make a good point. Um, maybe it's my laziness, I guess, but it is what it is now. Who oh. needs Planet Fitness, right? <laughs> right. Oh. Do you know who said, if they don't find you handsome, at least let them find you handy? Hmm. Who would have said that? Bob Vila? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but in a strange way. I mean, he was a do-it-yourselfer. <laughs> oh, um, um, wait, wait. What's his name? Red, green, red, green. Am I right? Yeah, no way. <laughs> oh, back to oh. the days where we didn't pay for any kind of TV, and PBS had red, green on it, didn't they? Yeah, it was. Uh, we watched a lot of red, green, and. Uh, and uh, Rick Steves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rick Steves. Travel yeah. and cooking. Yeah. You want to get down and see if it... Do you want me to... Are you... No, no. Gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Oh. Like if you turn around, that's when you really feel like... Okay. Right. If you turn around, yeah. you really feel like you're in danger. Oh, man. Do they feel sturdy, though? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you just shook the whole camper, so that's a good sign. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Moving on. Next. All right, Captain. Lists. I do love lists. Mount spare again. Done. If you cross off and go onto our pillows or sheets over there, it's going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> Backup cam. Installed. Mm, keep going. And right side up. Headboard. Headboard's in. The wiring... Yeah. We got to add down here. Oh, I hate when you wire add stuff. Wire <laughs> hider. Wire, or I mean headboard, done. Okay. Blinds. I have spent many hours on the blinds. Yes. They are very close. I'll show, we'll have to do it tomorrow though. And I'll show the whole design and we'll get them up and they're going to be beautiful. Sure. So divider curtain. We did buy a special technically blankets off <laughs> Timu <laughs> that are not here yet because it takes forever. So we'll get to that hopefully in the next day or two. And then some of this other decorative stuff we'll have to get to. Um, grab handles. Oh. Boom. Clean windows. Are they clean? Well, they need to be wiped down, but I got the tape off of them. All right. Oh, man. Keep going. Reverse um, light. Well, I, I glued it all back together, but I, I wanna, I'm going to coat it with epoxy inside and out, really seal it, and it's going to be good as new. It looked like a cracked eggshell. I don't know how in the world she put it back together, but I, I uh, 
Yeah, I I witnessed. Yeah. It, how, it, how did you spend your Christmas vacation? <laughs> <laughs> we can't stay up too late. We're back to work now, but um, it'd be nice since it's all warm in here to get a few more things knocked out. So I'm going to start looking at this cane webbing, which is somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. Look at um, that stuff. Technically plastic, but... From Timo. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well... Not sponsored, not by the way. Not sponsor. <laughs> not yeah. even our favorite place, but stuff is cheap. Okay. So, um, gonna try to see what it looks like to put some of that in these little recesses. So, since it's warm out here, we'll... I'll get started on that. And you wanted to I think you're gonna the... start doing some wire hider for these wires. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, we'll see how far we get. All right. I, I like the look of this. This is actually plastic. And um, this stuff is super expensive for the real stuff. So um, we did look on Timu. I don't know how this is going to work, but I know we'll find a way. And I think that it's going to look awesome and fit right in with like the... 70s vibe this one i cut for here okay as long as you don't glue your fingers together oh my gosh business. you should have seen the amount of glue i had on my fingers earlier today that's it <laughs> that's what it's gonna look like perfect all right here is the current state of affairs it's a little messy this stuff um the wire's coming along things ah. are taking a little time but um, we're running out of time. It's getting late. Got these pieces cut, all except for two. That's going to do it for tonight. We'll check some more things off the list tomorrow. See you then. Bye. Okay, just got home from work. Going to get started on some custom curtains. Tyler's not home yet, but I don't want to wait for the daylight to dwindle anymore before getting started. Um, my eye has been watering for about two days, so that's exciting. Um, also exciting is how this light cover ended up turning out. I covered it with epoxy inside and out. And I mean, it's not perfect. And maybe it won't last through its first trip, but take those screws out, pop this back in. And I think it's going to last a little longer. All right, it's 5 p.m. The sun's already going down. Definitely looking forward to longer days returning. Um, and if it shows you in the summertime when we were out there working till dark, that was like 10 p.m. So it's definitely crazy here in the winter. Um, I've got to cut some dowels and oh, some one by twos. And then I'll show you the plan for how these curtains are going to work once I get this wood cut. Well, look who's home. Yeah, hey, I made it back. Yay. Yeah, we got some projects we need to uh, tackle. So we're going to get these uh, curtains together and we've got to paint the ends of these boards, let those dry, and then we're going to tackle some stuff inside, right? Yeah. Turn the heat and on. The heat's on. <laughs> Good old Bob Ross, eat your heart out. I don't think Bob Ross or Bob Vila or Red Green would approve of this technique of the you don't think so? spray and run it in the house before it freezes. It's what, 26 degrees out? Yeah, it's perfect painting weather. One of the items on our list is a divider curtain. I am going to string a cable from the bathroom side over here to the uh, passenger side behind the seat and that divider curtain will allow us to keep the cab from the rest of the camper separated and uh, give us some privacy in the evenings. So I'm going to install some eye bolts and some other hardware and I'll show you what that stuff looks like. Hey, there she is. Hey. Oh, oh, I thought I dropped them. You're bringing me a blanket because it's so cold? I'm bringing you two blankets. <gasps> you want to see? Nice. Yeah, let's see. Hey, snazzy. Look at that. Hey, so nice. these are the Timu blankets. Yeah. And I sewed just a channel in the top. Yeah. So if this idea doesn't work, I'll just get out the seam ripper and we'll have two cozy blankets instead.
So this is what I've been up to. I got her eyelets in, I got her eighth inch coated cable, I've got it looped back on itself, and I've got this removable link here in case we want to pull the cable down at some point. And then I've got this fancy turnbuckle over here. Same scenario, but it's going to hook into our eyelet here. And now we can turn our turnbuckle and gain some tension on our cable. Sweet. And so it shouldn't sag. I could put some more tension on that too. But anyway, that's what it's going to look like. Let's see if they work. Oh, let's see. So do we want the the pretty side, I guess, facing the living area? I feel like, less. right? I wish they were double-sided, but I mean... Can't have I everything. they were 10 bucks. Timu. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let me back up. Okay, I'm going to put some tension to this and see if it'll... Draw it up a little bit. That is wild. Wildly awesome. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. So are you nervous to make it tighter that it will pull the eye bolts out? Or? Um, it's pretty tight. Let's give it another twist. Yeah. Now, will the ladder still work? If over you that? put the ladder here, the ladder does, in fact, still work. Nice. Look All right, let that. me get out of the way. Oh my gosh, That's that is cool. wild. I like that. that That's snazzy. pretty awesome. The green on it doesn't really show up from this far away, but it does have some of the the green here, orange. Very cool. Yeah, I think it's very cool. We'll probably wrap some tape around the, the sharp bits of that cable under there. Yeah. Just so it doesn't pull through our Not a bad idea. Cheapy, they're kind of a fleece material, a little stretchy. But well, how about that? That's pretty awesome. It is super awesome. Yay, we I got like something done. Yay. <laughs> oh, now on to the next 10 projects that are half finished. Yay. <laughs> I thought long and hard about what kind of adhesive to use. I'm going to go with the first attempt is this 3M Super 77. Now, this is the red bottle um, because... It says it can be used and only sprayed on one surface, whereas the green is more like a contact adhesive where you spray it on one, spray it on the other, let it dry on both, and then put it up. Um, the problem with that is I don't really want to spray it on here. So this is obviously going to still show the cabinet behind there, which is not the normal use for this product. Um, so I'd like to avoid having a bunch of glue that's just hanging out there. Um, so I'm going to try this. If this doesn't work, I have a plan B that involves a kind of a thicker glue that you roll on. The problem with that is I feel like we need to be able to keep pressure on here longer. And there's really no good way to clamp or do whatever. So may the force be with you. <laughs> Thank you. And with the glue. So this says spray it on, let it tack up. And once it's tacky, you test it with your knuckle. Um, once it doesn't fully, you know, rub off on your hand. Is that scientific? Test it, it with your knuckle? It literally says test it with your knuckle. <laughs> um, then you know that it's time to put it up. I'm hopeful that I can just roll it with this and it'll stick and stay. If I was thinking ahead last night, I would have made these more flat. Um, like put some pressure on them, but they're still a little bit rolly. Here we go. Oh, six to eight inches away. Right. As I sprayed all over the curtains. Yeah. Good test spray. Right. Okay. I don't know. Is that heavy enough? Heavier? Hard to say. I mean, I give it all the gusto. Then again, I would test it, the tackiness, with the palm of my hand, and that would <laughs> not right. work out so well. Oh. So we got to wait. It's been, what, like two minutes? Sure. It's pretty... Oh, it's hanging on to you. Tacky. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
This is gonna work perfectly. Okay. Oh shoot, it is stinking sticky. <laughs> Hopefully I lined it up straight. Gee whiz. Oh my gosh. I don't now is it removable at this point? I don't know. Thankfully I got it close enough to straight. Wow. Should have scooched it up a hair. That's fine. People just don't need to look that close. Well, there's, you know, just like any job that anybody ever does, the person that does it is the only one that really knows the flaws unless they're glaring. Oh my God. He looks nice. Look at it. Look at you. That's stuck. Awesome. Well, good. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a relief. That's amazing. Okay, good ah. job. All right, I'll keep going on these. All right, so how's it going? It's going good. I just got this biggest piece on. Nice. And it, I, I figured out that you don't want to let it tack up as much as we did. Okay. Because then you don't have any wiggle room. So yeah. spray it, let it, maybe not two minutes, maybe like 30 seconds. Put it up. You can shift it around a little bit. But yeah. um, the stuff is sticky. You want to see something? Sure. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got two more to go. One here, one there, and then um, and then that's it for this. Move on to the next thing. Sweet. Oh, all right. Everything's stuck. <laughs> Camera stuck to my hand. <laughs> uh, so I'm ready to put up our little uh, head bumper pad here. I got a mark, a mark, and a mark. So I'm going to put this up here behind our new cable hey hey nice. and then the, does the curtain still go should right perfect all right we've got some things we can check off the list finally yeah so divider curtain check oh. check the cane webbing, yes, it's all in. We'll show you that in a minute. Turned out super good. Yeah, it does. It gives it that vintage. It doesn't look like every other modern RV that where people painted it white and. It adds texture. It does. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yep. Um, bathroom door. We still have to do backsplash. I want to talk a minute about the backsplash. So what we are going to do, hold my list, <laughs> is this peel and stick wallpaper. Kind of had a retro vibe. It's subtle, um, but it's got a little of that silvery color that we've had in here. Um, the thing is, now that we have the cane webbing and the curtains, there's a lot going on all of a sudden. It, it used to be pretty basic yeah, in a good way, but we're worried about putting this up. So we're going to cross it off the list for now, unfinished, and think about it. Yeah, it'll require some more thought for sure. It does make, we're, we're afraid it's just going to be a little bit too busy. Yeah, and we're very tired. <laughs> so um, backsplash is going off. Um, we still need to do a little touch up paint, the wire hider up there on the bed. Tyler did an awesome job. We'll show you that too. That is finished. And the backup light that got smashed is unsmashed. So I can cross that out. So just a little touch up paint, bathroom door. There's just a gap at the bottom that needs to be fixed. And then the blinds. So let's show you the plan with the blinds and it's a DIY extravaganza um, <laughs> involves a lot of sewing but pretty straightforward pretty inexpensive um, we'll show you what the plan with that and then we'll start putting those up and show you all of the progress to this point nice so here's the idea that we have for the window blinds and it wasn't our idea i'll put a link in the description of the website since we didn't really do like a step-by-step -step tutorial sure so what we have is just 
basic painter's drop cloth. We got this at Harbor Freight. It's the heavier duty one. It was on sale for like $15. Um, it was enough to do all the windows with some left over for this camper. And um, it seems decent. I mean, we had to iron it. And so far I hemmed the edges around here. But um, compared to the fabric that we we're looking at, different samples and things at um, Johans, Johans, <laughs> that was like twenty two dollars a yard, and even with the coupon, would have been way more than this stuff. So um, we're hopeful that it's going to last and and look decent. Cut out our rectangles. This board will be here like this, and then we have these fancy leather straps that have these little um, alligator clips on them. <laughs> We're going to end up shortening these to some extent, but those will also go behind. And then we have these dowels to give it a little weight and have it hang down. So when it's closed, it's going to look basically like this. Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake. Hey guys, some exciting news. Look what we've got going on here. The, uh, the barn is underway. Yeah, it is in action and also exciting news today. Tyler's birthday. <gasps> Woohoo! Another year older. Good job. Not so great. <laughs> um, also today. Yes. It's a big day for the channel. 10,000 subscribers. That is super awesome, guys. Thanks for everything. Uh, we appreciate all your support. We appreciate all the comments. It's and uh, yeah, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be doing what we do. So it's much appreciated. All right, now let's get to sewing some curtains. Happy birthday. Thanks. There he comes with the curtains. So we draped the curtain around the back of the board. Um, we were going to bring it around and sew it beneath and we just kind of like the look better of just having it hang over the top and then that allowed us to screw into the front of it like this not have visible screws so so the straps we wound up stapling behind we did shorten the length of them somewhat so that our window was more open when it was open hmm. okay huh but, dang bazinga all right, so we're going to go ahead and get the rest of these curtains on. Um, we did not make the curtains for the front and back windows just because the walls angle and we didn't want the curtain like hanging down, you know, whatever, eight inches away from the wall or whatever. So all of these side windows will have these curtains and then we're going to figure out if something to do for the front and back. Most likely just cut something to the size that we would push up in there and then take out when we're not using it. So more curtains, and then we get to clean up everything and show you the results. Two down, looking good. Well, when I fall and break my hip, it's best to get it on video for insurance purposes. <laughs> okay. You know you're old when you're worried about breaking a hip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four and number three completed. Last one in. I mean, perfect. Ta da! Ta da! Well guys, we got our punch list knocked out. Um, we added a lot of things to our list, but that's just how it goes. When you find something 
you find something else. And so you add it to the list. The generator's dying. We better hurry. Boy. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> oh. Let me turn the battery um. on. Just pause. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move. All right. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> this long list took us a while to accomplish, but... Uh, we got it all knocked out. We're proud of the work that we did. Probably added too many things to the list. We're, we're not the best at estimating time. I, I swear that this list of things took longer than demoing and rebuilding the whole back wall. Oof. No joke, well, this took forever. It did, it did. But it, it is dark and cold and the, the days are limited. But... Um, we do appreciate everyone watching. We can't believe we hit 10,000 subscribers already. It's been amazing. We're looking forward to working on the Holiday Rambler. Yep. And also our sweet van. Yeah, the old Econoline. Yeah, so if you haven't seen any of our other Harvey videos where we did all the rest of this stuff, um, go back and check those out. But we look forward to seeing everyone soon. And... Um, yeah, we appreciate y'all watching. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.